Howdy folks, TJ here. Today is Sinclair Fun Day here. Time to try to do a first boot of my ZX Spectrum Plus 2 that I just recently did an unboxing of. And also going to kind of make this a multi-video. It's time for another Game of the Week for the Sinclair Society Facebook group. And Johnny McGibbick, I think, made a recommendation. Hey, why don't you use the new Plus 2 uh, for um, Game of the Week? And because I had spoke about this game, Denizen, in my uh, unboxing video. So it makes sense to try to load this cassette for the first time, booting up for the first time, all connected to my big 43-inch 4K TV I have in my office. So Denizen... Looks like a pretty fun game. It uh, works with 48K and it also goes all the way up to 128K Specky. And uh, I think what I'll do is I'll get the uh, tape started. Well, we're going to boot up for the first time actually and see if the computer works as it should. And then try my first go at actually using a Specky that has a built-in cassette. Kind of cool. So let's see how that works. So... I've got this connected up to my um, UMI 110, the 220 volt up transformer because I'm using the original power supply that came with it. I'm using the ZX HD that I normally use with my toast rack that's right behind it for connecting HDMI to my big TV and hope for the best. So I think I've got everything connected. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. That's a good sign. Yay! Cool! So I'm going to go ahead and try to... I've got it loaded up on the 128K side, so it's going to take a while for this to load. So what I think I'll do is I'll start the cassette, see if it actually works, and maybe after it loads up whatever picture it may load up, I'll chat about the game a little bit, and uh, if it's taking too long, I'll just edit the tape afterwards and or edit the recording I should say and make it a little bit shorter so anyway I'm gonna go ahead I've got this rewound yep so I'm gonna go ahead and hit tape loader and play There's some noise. Denizen. Whoa! That's a cool. Nice little tight bars. Hopefully a picture comes up in here. Then I'll lower the volume a little bit and uh, oh, there we go. That's cool. So let's lo lower the volume a little bit so I can chat. So I'm guessing all these areas down here. I was kind of looking in the little manual a little bit. They all have a purpose, so. This upper left one here, battle computer text display. This one here, number of key cards held. So I guess I gotta collect key cards. Energy remaining is number three, which is uh, this thing here, which will probably go down really fast. I'm gonna be burnt out with, of energy. Bolt remaining is number four, which is up here. I don't know what the hell a bolt is. Ah. But, all right, score display number five, which is this one here. So, actually, the battle computer tech display is this long bar here, and then this one there is the points. Uh, number six, ammunition remaining. And number seven, cardiac monitor. Number seven, where's that? That's down here, cardiac monitor. And then torch on or off. Um, Guessing that's for us USA guys, a flashlight. There's a lot of stuff going on here. You know I'm Mr. Left, Right, and Shoot, and that's it. So this could be difficult for me. So let's read a little bit. Classified data. Star Trooper Marine Corp. High Command Extract taken from Mission Briefing A56 
7W Denizen. As you know, we've recently lost contact with our orbital plutonium reprocessing installation. I believe that this is the work of our old enemy Jabba McGut <laughs> uh, and his band of intergalactic terrorists, the Alien Syndicate, otherwise known as Denizen. You have been selected for the very dangerous mission. The contaminated areas, sublevels 1, 2, and 3, must be jettisoned into space, thus ridding of us of Jabba and his evil band of alien skivvies forever. You know, skivvies in here in the USA means underwear, just so you know. <laughs> uh, you are equipped with the very latest user-friendly battle computer. The console layout is shown in figure one, which I just did. To access certain parts of the level, you must collect the key cards, which may be found scattered around the complex. You should also have no trouble finding extra ammunition for the weapon, a state-of-the-art self-loading quick-kill rifle. Your energy can likewise be topped up from a refueling point. Okay. To activate explosive bolts, study pages 2019 to 4897 of your Star Trooper Tech Manual. I don't think I have that manual unless it's something online here. I could be screwed. I never get that far in the game anyway. I'm just going to roam around and shoot and stuff. But yeah. Um, it's got some other writing here. Alternately running into you should have the same effect. The mission supports Kempston joysticks. Denison is a very difficult game. That's a bad sign for me. <laughs> if you have a problem, if no one else can help, send a large stamped self address envelope for exclusive Denison play. <laughs> <laughs> I get to mail off a self address stamped envelope. It's been a while since I've heard that self address stamped envelope. That is so funny. Going back in time. So cool. So, credits. So, kind of cool if you've been watching my. Game of the Week post inside um, Sinclair Society. We have the actual maker of this game on there now. Paul Griffiths is the way I read it on my social or Sinclair Society page. But I think they misspelled it wrong in this little cassette thing. It says Paul Grithiffs. G-R-I-T-H-I-F-F-S. So maybe that's right and maybe he goes by something different on Facebook now. Or it's the other way around. My guess is they have a spelling typo in here. Anyway, yeah, to start, I'd point that out. So, yeah, this looks like a pretty fun game. I'm just going to, like I normally do, roam around and shoot and do my best before I die, which is probably pretty quick. And as normal, or we say play for 30 minutes and see your score. I don't know if this is really an arcade game per se. It's more of an adventure where you're collecting and doing other stuff. But still, after 30 minutes, post your high score and then keep playing and see how far you get. I'm pretty sure I won't get that far. I'm not that good of a video gamer. Unless I, again, it's left and right and shoot, and then even then it's scary. So I think what I'll do is, uh, I'm going to just keep recording here. But uh, we're going to let it play on and see when it finally comes up to the home screen. I'll edit a little of this out so it's the beginning intro is not as long. But this is going to be a long video, I think. I should have probably checked my space on my phone that's recording this because I may be uh, running out of room. We're doing a lot of videos. Loading a 128K game definitely takes a long time. We may be getting close. Oh, there's still stuff going on. But we should be getting close, I would think. Yeah, we're right at the end of the tape. can do it. Right at the end. It's amazing even though it's at the... Oh, there we go. That almost looked like Bruce Lee. Players present Denizen.
put some of the other names on here. Jabba. So, Andy. So, Design and Code by Paul Griffiths. Griff, Griffiths, I'm going to say that's what it says in here. And graphics and additional, additional design, Jabba Severn, 128K version, Andy Severn. Music, Mike Brown, and textual, Simon Daniels. It's nice to have the cassette where I can read some of that stuff. Most of the games I've been doing have been off my ZX Play app. So, so this looks like the beginning. I think I'll go ahead and turn off the light and move in, and uh, we'll try playing this game. All right, gotta get ready here. Sound up loud enough? Should be all right. Okay, I guess I'll just hit enter. All right, set keys. I'm gonna do this keyboard. Okay, so I'm gonna do my normal O for left, Q for right, Q for up, A for down, fire, space bar, pause, J. All right, zero to start. Teleporting to sub-level one. I guess that's me in here. Oh! Man, right off the bat, creatures are attacking my butt. Guess I can't go through that. Oh, I just wasted a bullet or whatever it is. Shocker. Rifle, smart rifle thing. Oh! suckers. They're sitting there waiting for my butt. Oh, I just wasted the thing again. Oh! Okay, what's this thing here? Is it going to teleport me or something? Explosive bolt fired. What did I do? Did I just blow up something I needed? <laughs> oh, no. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I'll just keep shooting. I'll point down. How's my... Oh, I'm losing a lot of energy here. That's not a good... Oh! Oh! Ten points. I'm dead. I don't think I collected anything at all. One more time, and then I'll do off video trying to learn how to play this game. All right. Did I learn from any of my mistakes? Probably not.
Looks like it's all close range shooting. I can't shoot from a long ways away. Now this time, just walk here, explosive bolt fired. Uh, I guess I'm never going to know what the hell that does. I didn't shoot it. Whoa, look at, oh, they're in another room, luckily. I need to find some type of, I want to touch something that gives me some damn points or something. Oh! So here's this thing again. Let's see if my points go up or down. I'm looking at all the numbers. Well, I got some points, so I guess maybe that's... I'm supposed to be maybe doing that. Oh, everything's blue! Oh! Ah! <laughs> all right, I scored less, but I did figure out some things, I guess. So I'm gonna keep playing. Uh, so far, my best score is 2010, and I'll keep playing and then post my higher score later. But anyway, that's Denizen loading up. You can see you kind of need to adventure around, monitor this stuff down here better than I have, and um, yeah, cool. Thanks for watching, everyone. See ya.